The Lotka Volterra equations, also known as the predator prey equations, are a pair of first order nonlinear differential equations, frequently used to describe the dynamics of biological systems in which two species interact, one as a predator and the other as prey. The populations change through time according to the pair of equations, dx dt equals alpha x minus beta x y, dy dt equals delta x y minus gamma y, display style, begin, aligned, frac, dx, dt, and equals, alpha x, beta x y, frac, di, dt, and equals, delta x y, gamma y, end, aligned, where x is the number of prey, for example, rabbits, y is the number of some predator, for example, foxes, dy dt, display style, TFRAC, DI, DT, and DX, DT, display style, TFRAC, DX, DT, represent the instantaneous growth rates of the two populations. T represents time, alpha, beta, gamma, delta are positive real parameters describing the interaction of the two species. The Lotka Volterra system of equations is an example of a Kolmogorov model, which is a more general framework that can model the dynamics of ecological systems with predator prey interactions, competition, disease, and mutualism. History The Lotka Volterra predator prey model was initially proposed by Alfred J. Lotka in the theory of autocatalytic chemical reactions in 1910. This was effectively the logistic equation, originally derived by Pierre-François Verhulst. In 1920 Lotka extended the model, via André Kolmogorov, to organic systems, using a plant species and a herbivorous animal species as an example and in 1925 he utilized the equations to analyze predator-prey interactions in his book on biomathematics. The same set of equations was published in 1926 by Vito Volterra, a mathematician and physicist, who had become interested in mathematical biology. Volterra's enquiry was inspired through his interactions with the marine biologist Umberto D. Ancona, who was courting his daughter at the time and later was to become his son-in-law. D. Ancona studied the fish catches in the Adriatic Sea and had noticed that the percentage of predatory fish caught had increased during the years of World War I This puzzled him, as the fishing effort had been very much reduced during the war years. Volterra developed his model independently from Lotka and used it to explain D. Ancona S observation, the model was later extended to include density-dependent prey growth and a functional response of the form developed by C. S. Holling, a model that has become known as the Rosenzweig-MacArthur model. Both the Lotka-Volterra and Rosenzweig-MacArthur models have been used to explain the dynamics of natural populations of predators and prey, such as the lynx and snowshoe hare data of the Hudson. S. Bay Company and the moose and wolf populations in Isle Royale National Park, in the late 1980s, an alternative to the Lotka Volterra predator prey model, and its common prey dependent generalizations, emerged the ratio dependent or Arditi Ginsburg model. The validity of prey or ratio dependent models has been much debated. The Lotka Volterra equations have a long history of use in economic theory, their initial application is commonly credited to Richard Goodwin in 1965 or 1967. Physical meaning of the equations The Lotka Volterra model makes a number of assumptions, not necessarily realizable in nature, about the environment and evolution of the predator and prey populations. The prey population finds ample food at all times. The food supply of the predator population depends entirely on the size of the prey population. The rate of change of population is proportional to its size. During the process, the environment does not change in favor of one species, and genetic adaptation is inconsequential. Predators have limitless appetite, as differential equations are used, the solution is deterministic and continuous. This, in turn, implies that the generations of both the predator and prey are continually overlapping. Prey. When multiplied out, the prey equation becomes d x d t equals 
alpha x minus beta x y display style frac dx dt equals alpha x beta x y the prey are assumed to have an unlimited food supply and to reproduce exponentially, unless subject to predation. This exponential growth is represented in the equation above by the term alpha x. The rate of predation upon the prey is assumed to be proportional to the rate at which the predators and the prey meet. This is represented above by beta x y. If either x or y is zero, then there can be no predation. With these two terms the equation above can be interpreted as follows, the rate of change of the prey's population is given by its own growth rate minus the rate at which it is preyed upon. Predators The predator equation becomes d y d t equals Delta X Y minus Gamma Y Display style FRAC die DT equals Delta X Y Gamma Y in this equation, delta x y represents the growth of the predator population. Note the similarity to the predation rate. However, a different constant is used, as the rate at which the predator population grows is not necessarily equal to the rate at which it consumes the prey. Gamma y represents the loss rate of the predators due to either natural death or emigration. It leads to an exponential decay in the absence of prey. Hence the equation expresses that the rate of change of the predator's population depends upon the rate at which it consumes prey, minus its intrinsic death rate. Solutions to the equations The equations have periodic solutions and do not have a simple expression in terms of the usual trigonometric functions, although they are quite tractable. If none of the non-negative parameters alpha, beta, gamma, delta vanishes, three can be absorbed into the normalization of variables to leave only one parameter, since the first equation is homogeneous in x, and the second one in y, the parameters beta, alpha and delta, gamma are absorbable in the normalizations of y and x respectively, and gamma into the normalization of t, so that only alpha, gamma remains arbitrary. It is the only parameter affecting the nature of the solutions. A linearization of the equations yields a solution similar to simple harmonic motion with the population of predators trailing that of prey by 90 degrees in the cycle. A simple example Suppose there are two species of animals, a baboon prey, and a cheetah predator. If the initial conditions are 80 baboons and 40 cheetahs, one can plot the progression of the two species over time. The choice of time interval is arbitrary. One may also plot solutions parametrically as orbits in phase space, without representing time, but with one axis representing the number of prey and the other axis representing the number of predators for all times. This corresponds to eliminating time from the two differential equations above to produce a single differential equation d y d x equals minus y x delta x minus gamma beta y minus alpha Display style FRAC die DX equals FRAC Y X FRAC delta X gamma beta Y alpha relating the variables X and Y. The solutions of this equation are closed curves. It is amenable to separation of variables, integrating beta Y minus alpha y d 
D Y plus delta X minus gamma X D X equals zero Display style FRAC beta Y alpha Y die plus FRAC delta X gamma X DX equals zero yields the implicit relationship D equals delta X minus gamma lane X plus beta Y minus alpha lane Y Display style V equals delta X gamma lane X plus beta Y alpha lane Y where V is a constant quantity depending on the initial conditions and conserved on each curve. An aside, these graphs illustrate a serious potential problem with this as a biological model. For this specific choice of parameters, in each cycle, the baboon population is reduced to extremely low numbers, yet recovers while the cheetah population remains sizable at the lowest baboon density. In real life situations, however, chance fluctuations of the discrete numbers of individuals, as well as the family structure and life cycle of baboons, might cause the baboons to actually go extinct, and, by consequence, the cheetahs as well. This modeling problem has been called the Addo Fox problem, an Addo Fox being a notional 10 minus 18 of a fox. Phase space plot of a further example. A less extreme example covers alpha two thirds beta four thirds gamma one delta assume x y quantify thousands each circles represent prey and predator initial conditions from x. Y zero point nine to one point eight in steps of zero point one. The fixed point is at one one half. Dynamics of the system. In the model system, the predators thrive when there are plentiful prey, but ultimately outstrip their food supply and decline. As the predator population is low, the prey population will increase again. These dynamics continue in a cycle of growth and decline. Population equilibrium Population equilibrium occurs in the model when neither of the population levels is changing, i.e. when both of the derivatives are equal to zero. x alpha minus beta y equals 0 display style x alpha beta y equals 0 minus y gamma minus delta x equals 0 Display style y gamma delta x equals zero. The above system of equations yields two solutions. Y equals zero. X equals zero. Display style y equals zero. X equals zero and y equals alpha 
beta x equals gamma delta display style left y equals frac alpha beta x equals frac gamma delta right hence there are two equilibria the first solution effectively represents the extinction of both species if both populations are at zero then they will continue to be so indefinitely the second solution represents a fixed point at which both populations sustain their current, non-zero numbers, and, in the simplified model, do so indefinitely. The levels of population at which this equilibrium is achieved depend on the chosen values of the parameters alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. Stability of the fixed points the stability of the fixed point at the origin can be determined by performing a linearization using partial derivatives. The Jacobian matrix of the predator prey model is J x y equals alpha minus beta y minus beta x delta y delta x minus gamma. Display style J x y equals begin B matrix alpha beta y and beta x delta y and delta x gamma end B matrix and is known as community matrix. First fixed point extinction. When evaluated at the steady state of 0, 0, the Jacobian matrix J becomes J 0, 0 equals alpha O O minus gamma. Display style J 0, 0 equals begin B matrix alpha and 0, 0 and gamma end B matrix. The eigenvalues of this matrix are lambda 1 equals alpha, lambda 2 equals minus gamma. Display style lambda underscore 1 equals alpha quad lambda underscore 2 equals gamma. In the model alpha and gamma are always greater than zero, and as such the sign of the eigenvalues above will always differ. Hence the fixed point at the origin is a saddle point. The stability of this fixed point is of significance. If it were stable, non-zero populations might be attracted towards it, and as such the dynamics of the system might lead towards the extinction of both species for many cases of initial population levels. However, as the fixed point at the origin is a saddle point, and hence unstable, it follows that the extinction of both species is difficult in the model. In fact, this could only occur if the prey were artificially completely eradicated, causing the predators to die of starvation. If the predators were eradicated, the prey population would grow without bound in this simple model, the populations of prey and predator can get infinitesimally close to zero and still recover. Second fixed point oscillations evaluating J at the second fixed point leads to J gamma delta alpha beta equals zero minus beta gamma delta alpha delta beta zero display style J left frac gamma delta frac alpha beta right equals begin B matrix zero and frac beta gamma delta frac alpha delta beta and zero end B matrix. The eigenvalues of this matrix are lambda 1 equals i alpha gamma lambda 2 equals minus i alpha gamma Display style lambda underscore one equals i sqrt alpha gamma quad lambda underscore two equals i sqrt alpha gamma. As the eigenvalues are both purely imaginary and conjugate to each other's, this fixed point is elliptic, so the solutions are periodic, oscillating on a small ellipse around the fixed point with a period omega equals lambda. 1 lambda 2 equals alpha gamma display style omega equals sqrt lambda underscore 1 lambda underscore 2 equals sqrt alpha gamma as illustrated in the circulating oscillations in the figure above, the level curves are closed orbits surrounding the fixed point, the levels of the predator and prey populations cycle and oscillate without damping around the fixed point with period omega 
equals alpha gamma display style omega equals sqrt alpha gamma the value of the constant of motion v or equivalently k equals exp v k equals y alpha e minus beta y x gamma e minus delta x display style k equals y caret alpha e caret beta y x caret gamma e caret delta x can be found for the closed orbits near the fixed point increasing k moves a closed orbit closer to the fixed point the largest value of the constant k is obtained by solving the optimization problem y alpha e minus beta y x gamma e minus delta x equals y alpha x gamma e delta x plus beta y max x y greater than 0 display style y caret alpha e caret beta y x caret gamma e caret delta x equals frac y caret alpha x caret gamma e caret delta x plus beta y long right arrow max limits underscore x y greater than 0 the maximal value of k is thus attained at the stationary fixed point gamma delta alpha beta display style left frac gamma delta frac alpha beta right and amounts to k equals alpha beta e alpha gamma delta e gamma display style k caret asterisk equals left frac alpha beta e right caret alpha left frac gamma delta e right caret gamma where e is Euler's number. See also Competitive Lotka-Volterra equations Generalized Lotka-Volterra equation Mutualism and the Lotka-Volterra equation Community matrix Population dynamics Population dynamics of fisheries Nicholson-Bailey model Reaction diffusion system Paradox of enrichment Notes References Lee, E. R. 1968. The Ecological Role of Volterra's Equations some Mathematical Problems in Biology, a modern discussion using Hudson's Bay Company data on lynx and hares in Canada from 1847 to 1903. Kaplan, Daniel, Glass, Leon, 1995. 
Understanding Nonlinear Dynamics. New York, Springer. ISBN 0-387-94440-0. Murray, J. D. 2003. Mathematical Biology I, An Introduction. New York, Springer. ISBN 0-387-95223-3. York, James A. Anderson, William N. Jr. 1973. Predator-prey patterns Volterra Lotka equations. PNAS, 70, 7, 2069-2071. DOI 10.1073, PNAS, 70.7.2069. JSTOR 62597. Libra, J. Valls, C. 2007. Global Analytic First Integrals for the Real Planar Lotka Volterra System. J. Math. Phys. 48, 033507. DOI 10.1063/1.2713076. External links. From the Wolfram Demonstrations Project. Requires CDF player free. Predator-prey equations. Predator-prey model. Predator-prey dynamics with type 2 functional response Predator-prey ecosystem, a real-time agent-based simulation